Hello friends, welcome to Inside Saigon Initiative. In today's video, we are going to discuss about weekly current issues revision. So this is going to be the week number 37 video. In case if you miss out the previous weekly current issues, you can check in the playlist. That is a weekly current issues playlist play is available in our channel. You can check that one. In this particular video, we are going to discuss about these seven topics. Ring of fire, it is related to geography, Mohini atom, culture, Political parties and their symbol, polity. Next, CAR 19, science and technology like CAR teeth uh, cell therapy. Then, 125 years of Kodaikina Solar Observatory, SNT. And SARA, we will discuss about what is this and the relevance. Then, finally, Africa's effort triangle. This is related to geography as well, geology, geography. So, these are the seven topics we are going to discuss in this particular video. Without any further delay, let us see the first topic. The first one is regarding the ring of fire. The reason we are discussing ring of fire because recently there was a earthquake in Taiwan. Of course, the earthquake is little bit, uh, you know, like on the higher end, but still the casualties are less. Okay, fortunately. Now, why the Taiwan is frequently experiencing the earthquake? Not only Taiwan, the regions of Japan and Indonesia and all these things, because these regions are present in the Pacific Ring of Fire. What is this Pacific Ring of Fire? Actually, Pacific Ring of Fire is an area where different different tectonic plates will meet okay tectonic plate means this entire earth is made up of different different plates these tectonic plates they sit on the asthenosphere okay so tell me guys where is this asthenosphere whether it is present in the crust mantle or core okay where is the asthenosphere is present asthenosphere okay where it is located now so this Pacific ring of fire is present across the tectonic plate whenever two plates are meeting each other due to various forces where sometimes the heavier plate will go below the lighter plate that is known as subduction the subduction causes even the volcanic eruption as well as the earthquake as well across the globe major earthquakes are happening in this pacific ring of fire it spreads from the australia and round across till south american continent let's see Taiwan is more prone to earthquake because it is present along the Pacific Ring of Fire. Around 90 percentage of the world earthquake present in the you know like uh, Pacific Ring of Fire. And one more thing you have to understand earthquake is all about releasing of energy. When earthquake happens the energy will be released into different different forms primary waves, secondary waves and surface waves. Okay, There are three types of waves. And the Ring of Fire it is around string of around hundreds of volcanoes and earthquake sites present along the Pacific Ocean. Here we can see the convergence of tectonic plates such as Eurasian, North American, John D. Fuca, Cocos, Caribbean and various other tectonic plates they are merging in this area and it runs across almost all 15 more countries. And why it is prone to earthquake because here the tectonic plates will undergo subduction. What is the meaning of the subduction? When the heavier tectonic plate will go below the lighter one, it resulted to earthquake and it also leaves trench as well. You know that one of the deepest trench on the earth is Mariana Trench. It is present in the subduction zone. So this is about the topic number one. Next, second topic is regarding the Mohini atom. Recently, the cultural institution of Kerala, it is the highest cultural institutions in Kerala, that is the Kerala Kala Mandalam. This Kerala Mandal Kala Mandalam, they announced that they are considering, you know, like they are considering to change the policy so that even the male also they can learn Mohini Atam. What does it mean? It means previously male not allowed to learn Mohini Atam. Now I will try to understand further regarding this classic dance. Mohini Atam is a dance of Mohini related to Lord Vishnu. Theme, it tells the story of Vishnu in Mohini Atam form. And you know that dance forms will be in different different uh, uh, expression. Some forms are more beauty in nature and some form, some form of dances express anger, rage and all these things. This particular Mohini atom, it mainly confined to the beauty and grace. That aspect is known as Lasya aspect. Okay, It includes gentle thumping of footsteps and generally it performed mostly in solo women. And this is the signature of the Kerala. In this, so this dance form mainly revived by V. N. Meenan and Kalyani Amma. Costumes. Costumes includes 
so white sari along with the gold borders the sangeet natak academy in india so far declares eight forms as a classical dance forms these eight classical dance forms are bharatanatyam tamil nadu kathakali kerala kuchipudi andhra pradesh odissi manipuri satriya and kathak up and mohiniyattam kerala from south almost all ap kerala tamil nadu and uh, so from kerala to kathakali as well as mohiniyattam these are the three states mainly feature in the classical dance list kerala kala mandalam it is a prestigious cultural institution they are considering to change the policy so that men is also can perform the mohiniyattam like we discussed next third one is recently as we are in the you know like uh, buzz of the lok sabha 2024 election recently few parties they lost the symbol in this context we we'll try to understand who gives the symbol to political party and so what is that order i mean are there any orders or any gvo or any act so in india political parties they'll get uh, orders and symbols according to the symbols and orders okay symbols and uh, symbols order related to 1968 okay symbols order 1968 according to that political party will get symbol actually in india every political party after they established they have to registered with election commission of india that means every political party is a registered party but once they get registration upon fulfilling certain i mean certain criteria they'll become the recognized party recognized party can be in two levels state level as well as the national level tell me guys how many how many national recognized parties in india okay so state level as well as the national recognized party the advantage of recognized party is they will be allocated with a reserved symbol that means they have always a single symbol like how bjp is having the lotus and congress is having the hand like that but there are some bodies even though they registered with election commission of india they failed to get recognition because they they are unable to fulfill the criteria required to get that recognition for them they'll get the free symbols that means they won't get the fixed symbol that means they won't get the reserved symbol but still even though unrecognized parties still they can aim for the a common symbol for all the state up to you know like based on certain conditions now recently what happened election commission of india denied a common symbol to vck and it allocated the common symbol to ntk why the reason is both are unrecognized party in spite of that one party secured at least one percentage of the votes in the last two elections the other party couldn't get when if a political party get at least one percentage of the votes in whichever the election is contested then they can request for a common symbol okay next eci allocates generally symbols to political party according to election symbols reservation and allotment order 1968 so this is all about the unrecognized parties only once the party gets recognized they'll get the fixed symbols common symbol to unrecognized parties they'll get by securing at least one percentage of the votes in previously conducted elections obviously common symbol helps to political party to go into the people in a much more effective manner and people also can identify the party candidates in relation to the symbol next fourth one is regarding the cart t cell therapy first you have to understand what is this t cells in human body there are different types of blood cells rbc wbc and uh, blood platelets popularly known as thrombocytes in wbc there are two different types granulocytes non granulocytes or a granulocytes granulocytes means these are the cells which contain granules in the nucleus they are eosinophils basophils neutrophils a granulocytes these are the lymphocytes as well as the monocytes okay in that lymphocyte one of the lymphocytes is t lymphocytes now we are modifying the t lymphocyte so that we can you know like we can counter the cancer how what kind of modification we will do so first we will take the t t cells from the patient and we will genetically modify them once we genetically modify them then they start expressing the receptors known as car c a r okay c a r stands for chimeric chimeric okay antigen receptor okay chimeric antigen receptor what is this chimeric antigen receptor the chimeric antigen receptor it recognizes cancer cells 
it go and binds the cancer cells so that cancer cells will be destroyed so our own human system will identify the cancer cells and it destroy the cancer cells that is how it works okay chimeric chimeric antigen cell and once we develop this car t cells the same blood cells will injected to the human being and into his human being his immune system re i mean acts on the cancer cells so the cancer cells will get destroyed now it is in the testing phase but but one type of cancer this t cell therapy it recently started by it inaugurated by our president where now we'll see actually this cancer treatment generally the major drawbacks they are having one is expensive the other one is cancer treatment is not available to all the types of cancers and thus various side effects due to chemotherapy now scientists are working very hard to overcome these shortfalls president of india launched india's first indigenous we developed within india cart t cell therapy for cancer where it launched at indian institute of technology bombay it's the world's most affordable crt therapy of course most of the technologies which are either invented or developed further by indians they are developed by keeping our as our people needs as well as aspirations in mind so obviously it is going to be the affordable next we are going to discuss about one of the very oldest solar observatory which is in kerala okay the speciality of the solar observatory is this was set up almost all how many years back 125 years back so during that time what was the necessity to set up the solar observatory mainly to check the various patterns of the sun so that's at that time farmers used to take precautions regarding the droughts and regarding the rainfall with that intention the solar observatory were set up recently the kodai canal solar observatory it's a, it's a finished its 125th anniversary it was set up by indian institute of astrophysics iia and this observatory it was owned and operated by indian institute of astrophysics which was set up in 1989 and why this this kodai canal was chosen we'll see kodai canal is present in tamil nadu it mainly focuses on solar studies this one this kodai canal solar observatory during the drought time in 1875 to 77 at that time there was a need to observe the solar studies and this observatory was present in is present in palani hills of tamil nadu this place particularly chosen because of the high altitudes favorable climate conditions and dust free environment in the clear and stable environment only we can easily understand the solar observations there is a reason this particular location is been selected regarding the indian institute of astrophysics it was established in 1971 headquarters in bombay it is a autonomous research institute funded completely by department of science and technology it conducts research primarily on the area of astronomy and astrophysics astrophysics next this is regarding the ai technology which is endorsed by the who this particular ai technology is going to offer various types of health related information let's see so what kind of information it can provide to us this is about sara sara stands for smart ai resource assistant for health name itself is saying resource assistants recently who announced the launch of the sara it is a digital health promoter prototype launched by who so now the main purpose is it produce and it provides various information related to the health risks for example it provides information related to the major health topics which are related to you know like mental health as well and it offers supports to the people in developing better understanding regarding the various diseases and it also gives updated information regarding the various healthy practices and it also engaging users around 24 hours a day in eight languages so this is how ai can help in a positive way as well next this is about geologists they are saying that after millions of years there is a possibility that certain piece of land from africa it may get separated so there may be the there may be the possibility of new continent or new ocean as well okay let's see africa's affer triangle africa's affer triangle so geologists discovered 
fault in Africa's AFA triangle. This triangle covers which countries? We will discuss anyhow. This, this indicate the potential formation of the world's sixth ocean, this AFA triangle. So, this is present mainly in the East African Rift System and it could split the African continent into two parts after 5 to 10 million years later. And it is a part of the Great Rift Valley in East Africa and it spreads over the Eritrea, Djibouti and the Afar region of Ethiopia and Lake Asal as well. Actually, Lake Asal is one of the Africa's lowest point and this region, Afar Triangle region, it experiences extreme heat and drought with some of the hottest temperature on earth. This Afar, this Afar Triangle is bordered by Ethiopia Plateau, Dunkel Block, the Somali Plateau and the Ali Sabi block. So, these are the important borders, very important in terms of your prelims. Yesterday's video question, with reference to Agni-4 missile, which of the following statement is correct? It is a surface to surface missile, right? It is fueled by liquid propellant, no, solid one. It can deliver a one ton nuclear warhead about 7500 kilometers above, no. It is only the Agni-4, so it can deliver up to 4000 in general. Let us see. Today's question, Food Waste Index Report 2024 is released by, who releases this Food Waste Index? Next, question number 2, consider the following statement about the group of friends. It was launched by India in 2022. It aims to promote accountability for crimes against the blue helmets. Which one is the right statement? Next, third one, Kalam 250, which was in news recently is related to related to watch. So, these are today's MCQs. As we reach to the end of this video, in this video, we discussed around 7 topics related to the weekly current issues. And this is the detailed analysis of the weekly current affairs week number 37. I hope this video is useful in your preparation. Thanks for watching this video. Have a great day. Jai Hind.